The Chevrolet Capital holds a special place in automotive history as one of the pivotal models that helped establish Chevrolet as a major player in the automobile industry. Let's embark on a journey through time to explore the fascinating story of the Chevrolet Capital, made its debut in 1927, marking an important milestone for Chevrolet and General Motors. This was a time of rapid growth and innovation in the automotive industry, and Chevrolet was determined to assert its dominance in the market. The Capital was designed to appeal to the mass market, offering a combination of style, affordability, and reliability. Its sleek lines, rounded fenders, and distinctive radiator grille gave it a timeless appeal that captured the imagination of car enthusiasts everywhere. Under the hood, the Capital featured a robust inline four-cylinder engine, delivering respectable performance for its time. Its sturdy chassis and suspension provided a smooth and comfortable ride, while its spacious interior offered ample room for passengers and cargo alike. Its 2.8-liter engine was capable of producing around 35 horsepower. This engine was known for its durability and efficiency, making it a popular choice among motorists. The Capital was typically equipped with a three-speed manual transmission, providing smooth and precise shifting for an enjoyable driving experience. In addition, it featured a sturdy steel ladder frame chassis, which provided a solid foundation for the vehicle. The suspension systems consisted of semi-elliptical leaf springs at both the front and rear, providing a balance between comfort and handling. Early models of the Capital were equipped with mechanical drum brakes, which were later replaced with hydraulic brakes for improved stopping power and safety. The Capital featured a steel body construction which was a departure from earlier models that used wood framing. This transition to all steel bodies improved durability and reduced maintenance requirements. While specific dimensions varied slightly depending on the body style, such as sedan, coupe, or convertible, typically had a wheelbase of around 107 inches and an overall length of approximately 165 inches. These dimensions contributed to the Capital's balanced proportions and comfortable interior space. The Capital quickly became a symbol of American ingenuity and progress, embodying the spirit of the Roaring Twenties. Its affordable price tag and reliable performance made it a popular choice among middle-class families who embraced the freedom and mobility that car ownership provided. Although production eventually ceased in 1929, its legacy continues to live on in the hearts and minds of automotive enthusiasts around the world. Its timeless design, robust engineering, and cultural significance ensure that it will always hold a special place in automotive history. Although the history of the capital was not so extensive, its legacy was, since it set a precedent in the manufacture of cars focused on middle-class families, offering the possibility of moving around with freedom, comfort and confidence, for, for these and other reasons, the capital will be etched in the annals of automotive history, and will continue to be a beloved car for enthusiasts.